Hi, welcome back. My name is Rikam. In today's session, we're going to look at deployment process in SAP HANA Cloud using Business Application Studio. It's quite similar to what we used to do in Web IDE Full Stack or Web IDE for HANA in the past. But there are some navigations changed when we're using Business Application Studio. We're going to look at that in detail in this session. So for to summarize the process in three steps, the first step is going to be deploying the module in Business Application Studio. In my case, the module is going to be a DB module, a database module, uh, which is going to have all my design time artifacts like tables, database views, processes, and etc. Once I create my design time artifacts, I'm going to do it, deploy that particular source DB module, and then it is going to get a private copy created for us. And it's a separate container created for us. We used to call this process as a build process in the past. Now we don't need to call as a build process, it is going to uh, call as a deployment process for the particular module. Once the DB module is deployed and the HDA container is available, then we're going to start um, building the project. The building project is merely uh, just wrapping, archive, creating an archive file for the entire project. So as a result, we're going to get a entire uh, archive file generated in the project. In the next step, we're going to take that mtar file, the archive file, and then run the deploy command in Cloud Foundry to get that particular project deployed into the space and in turn it is going to get deployed to the database instance. And the, the steps outlined here in, are uh, exactly same as what we used to do in WebID full stack of, in the past. Uh, just that we're going to see um, the navigations changed in Business Application Studio in this session. Let's take a look at this demo in, in, the, in the Business Application Studio. So I've got my trial instance um, set up already in the previous session. So I've got um, instance running. I also, I have Business Application Studio open. I also have a, a project created from template. And inside the project, I've created a, a database module. Inside that, I got source mod folder, just created a, a simple table with the three columns. I also have my MTA ML file, which is generated automatically as part of the template, which is I'm not going to change anything in this particular um, file configuration. So I can also see that it's coming in the bottom for uh, in the SAP HANA projects uh, area. I can start. Um, deploy that. This is going to be my first step. Deploying this particular DB module is going to get a private container created for me. So I'm going to do that, hit the deploy button. It's running and then it's getting um, a private container for me. It's created. Uh, the private container name is HANA underscore deploy. It is just associating the project name and uh, the DB module name together and giving an underscore one uh, to separate the different containers. I can hard code this schema name or the um, uh, to whatever the name I would like, but I just get leaving uh, this up to the system to give uh, uh, generate one for me. So I'm going to get to the database module and see how the container is maintained in DB Explorer. So go to the DB Explorer and I got this particular. Um, database module created. And then I'm going to uh, run the SQL command here. And uh, um, I can just check the schema uh, where I am currently. This is going to associate the um, underscore one as it is, it's representing my private container. If the uh, developer two is working on the same uh, module is going to get uh, db underscore two as the schema name and also the container name. Also wanted to see the table here. I'll go to the tables and find the table. This is going to be here. So this is customer and then I inserted a couple of records in that. Um, so I'm going to just see the data is com coming in um, in this particular container. Now the second step, and we're going to move on to the second step, which is going to be my uh, project build. So once I have all my objects um, created and looking good, then I'm going to uh, make the project ready for deployment. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the project and get 
to the view and I open the find command and there's a command palette opens here. Um, I'm going to select build MTA. If you don't find it, you can search for it by typing in. I'm just going to search, say build MTA. And, and it is going to generate an archive file for us. So you can see that the archive file is generated for the project uh, HANA deploy uh, MTAR. So now right, the second step is completed. I got the MTAR file generator for the project. Now I'm going to deploy that MTAR file into the space. So it's going to generate a cleaner version for me, uh, um, not the private container. It's going to be unique and cleaner. It's going to bound to the application. Um, and it can be used by other developers as well. So what I'm going to do, I can do that using CF um, command line. Uh, I, I can run the uh, command palette and then say uh, deploy. Deploy MTA archive, just select there and it is going to run the deployment for that particular MTAR, the one we, which you selected from here. So it's running. So I'm going to see um, the generated container um, after this deployment complete. So while it's happening, I can go back and check the services here. So in the past, we just have one service, just the, the, the private container service. I'm going to refresh this one. I'm going to get the, 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 the real cleaner container service as well as, as the result of the, as the, result of the, the project deployment. Uh, it's, it's, it's still uh, in progress. You can see that the instance is created as HDI underscore HANA underscore DB. It's not a, uh, some uh, random um, generated name. It's a fixed uh, service instance um, created as part of the cleaner deployment process. It's in progress. Once it is done, I can see that, um, yeah, it's done. So like, now I'm going to see another container um, in my database explorer. I'm going to go to database explorer and then say plus and then I will find the other container for me which is hdi underscore and underscore db. I'm going to select OK. And this one is also going to contain the customer table but it is not going to have any data in it because the, uh, the, the previous um, container has the data but not the not the, uh, the latest one. So I'm going to open that um, and say the tables and then I'm going to say I'm just going to refresh this one and then come back to the tables I see the customer I'm going to display the data in it I see nothing just because this is from the newly deployed cleaner container and then the previous one is from the private container um, at the end we're going to load the the cleaner container tables uh, so that they can be used by other developers and also can be used for testing. Okay, so just to recap, so what we did, um, we looked at the deployment process in Business Application Studio for HANA Cloud. We created a, um, a, a template project and we created a DB module and we deployed the DB module first to get a private copy and then we created a we build that project to generate an MTAR file and then we um, deploy that MTAR file in the space to get a cleaner container. Now, this is what we have achieved through the view command palette and then the actions are um, executed respectively in the in the terminal, CF terminal. We don't need another, an additional CF command line tool for this. this business application studio is going to give um, CFI CF CLI tool uh, for you so you can run the CF, CF commands um, without any um, uh, without any additional CF tools. For example, if you would like to see the services created, you could just say CF services and you can see all the services, the HDI instances created so far as part of our initial deployment and also cleaner deployment. Okay, that's all for this session. I hope it is helpful and we'll continue to do uh, some more sessions on this um, business application studio with HANA Cloud. Um, for detailed training on HANA Cloud uh, using business application studio, you can reach out to me at surampalli.gmail.com. Thank you. Bye for now.